Hello beautiful people! Well guys, today we're going to take you to one of the oldest restaurants that serve Iranian kebab in Dubai. This restaurant is so popular, everyone basically knows it. And apparently, they are one of the best. Anyways, let's check out Ustad restaurant together. Hi Majid, how are you? God bless you. I'm Majid Mohammed Ali Ansari from Special Study Restaurant. You're most welcome. This is the kebab of the Special Study. Those are the best kebab you have? All the best. We are with them. Yeah. All right, thank you. You're most welcome. All right, beautiful people. So as we enter the restaurant, first of all, there's a lot of gadgets everywhere. I'm sure this is one of the oldest phones you can ever find in the entire world. And I really like it. I don't know, there's a special vibe about this restaurant. There's something about it. So the menu is very straightforward. You have a lot of sort of kebabs. Uh, four two, four three, four four, four five. It really depends. And you have a lot of um, classic appetizers. What's really famous basically here is the kebab, and this is what we're gonna go for. Irfan, can you explain to me what are those kebabs, please? Okay, sir. Thank you. This one is kebab khas, marinated yogurt, one square for mutton, one square for chicken. And this one two three four kebab, mutton, two square men's kebab, and other one is mutton baharani, dry lemon marinated. The other one is chicken barani, same thing, chicken. And this one is minced chicken she kebab. And other one is chicken zafran, juja kebab. And this one is French fries. Right. Thank you, sir. Enjoy the food. All right, so when the kebabs come on the table, they always serve it with a bit of vegetable on the side, tomato, cucumber, lemon, onions, and raita as well. Anyways, let's begin and try the kebabs. Hello, hi, good evening. My name is Talib Mangladi Ansari. Three brothers working here. We are in this restaurant for 43 years old. It used to be one small one for 15 years. It broke the building. It's our new place, maybe six years now. We're in Dubai for four generations. It's a long story, you know. From grandfather, my dad passed away five years. He was in Dubai for 77 years. I'm born up in Dubai. I'm in this restaurant for 30 years. And this, this is my house. This is my everything, you know. All right, guys. So um, now we have the rice in front of us. And this is a Iranian rice. This is how they do it. So I think I have a rice with saffron, the white rice. And as well, you have the cranberry. Anyways, let's try it. Oh my god, the rice is extremely pillowy. And you have the saffron taste because of the rice with the saffron. But when we talk about the cranberry with it, it gives it a beautiful sanguinous. This is the first time I try Iranian rice, but I am really, really enjoying it. That one is for everyone who loves their soft kebab, flavorful and properly done. I think for everyone who doesn't really like adding the spices or whatever with their kebab will definitely enjoy that one. So one of the owners told me I have to try a starter called Tahdik. So this is something new for me and apparently it is very popular. Let's go ahead and try it. Oh my God. Once you eat it, you have a lot of crispiness going on. The flavor is classic. There's nothing really that bothers you. It's not spicy. You have the lentils, which are soft. I think everyone who loves to try something new and who, wants, who is looking for something authentic, this dish is definitely a must try. Babe, what do you think about your experience? To be honest, I'm not a big fan, meat fan, but this kebab was marinated in a very special way that it's so delicious and so soft. I'm just loving it. All right, lovely people. So. We have, in my opinion, which I call the basic kebabs, which are the grounded meats. All of them are good, are properly done. You have a lot of flavors going on. Beautifully charcoal grilled. However, the exceptional one is the kebab kes. That one is out of this world. Once you put it in your mouth, it's a bit chewy, and I love that texture. It's tangy, it's sour. There's something really exceptional about it. If you are a kebab lover, that one should definitely be on your list. 